People with severe allergies shouldn't eat out. I work at a coffee shop and customer was allergic to the main ingredient in all teas but still wanted a damn tea, held up the line for 15 minutes to find a decent substitute. If you're severely allergic to something, and don't want to have an accidental allergic reaction why the hell would you go to a restaurant where cross-contamination happens on a daily basis, putting a risk to your own health? Heard a story about a woman wanted a dish made a certain way I think for allergen reasons, the chef did his best to accommodate while keeping the dish as true as he could. Her partner ordered same dish without changes. Meals were served, she promptly starts picking at her partner's plate to see how different they were. It's not that people with severe allergies shouldn't eat out, but rather, they shouldn't try to order something that has the ingredient they're allergic to and doesn't have an easy or obvious substitution. I really read this the first couple times as people with allergies shouldn't eat people out. And I was really confused and dying to see the comments. People with severe allergies are fine it's the fucking bozos that don't tell you they have a severe allergy, like what the actual fuck is wrong with you if you wait until the last minute to say something. Having allergies is fine. The problem is with people who have allergies and don't take any steps to prepare for the world. The guy with the tea allergy lol what? Should have alternate choices in mind before reaching the register. If he had the decency to prepare, this wouldn't have been an issue. Or you could say that people with severe allergies should research their allergies and come prepared so they don't hold up the line. I think that's sufficient. As someone who comes with a list of food allergies there's only a handful of places I can eat and I know it. Going to a tea shop knowing you can't have anything though is a greater douch move though. Eating out is a nightmare so I've always got snacks and I know the best place to get something I'm in the mood for. Going somewhere new research is always something done but tbh it's easier to just not bother going in. Having people make it seem like not a big deal though drives me nuts which is on my list as you don't have to deal with the after effects. He was allergic to tea leaves but wanted tea? I am allergic to poultry and it sucks, but dine out all of the time. I carry Benadryl and an EpiPen for any accidents or severe reactions. I know where I can and cannot eat and don't burden others. I've learned the hard way that my allergy is tricky, no pepperoni pizza for example. Never eat a hot dog on the 4th of July again unless I bought it and know for sure it's all beef. I'm still a good dude and I'm not gonna live in a cave just because I can't go to KFC or eat wings at Hooters. Thanksgiving is the worst holiday of the year and has been lonely before I started my own family. As someone who's anaphylactic to peanuts I understand that there are some restaurants where it's dangerous to eat so I just don't go there. It's not that people with allergies shouldn't go out to eat, it's that as someone with food allergies you need to prepare in advance which can involve many different options, and understand that sometimes you may not be able to safely eat some places. I always check menus and ingredients before I go anywhere, so when I arrive I know exactly what I can eat. If you're serving something they aren't allergic to then why not? Cause duck donuts, bacon donuts are worth it. I think the guy ordering tea is more like a person who should know what they want before getting into a line. I don't agree that they shouldn't go out to eat, but they absolutely are responsible for knowing what they're allergic to and what alternatives they can consume. I kinda agree. If you have a serious allergy or simply dislike an ingredient, then well order something else or eat somewhere else. The dish is the dish. If you are allergic to peanuts then you cannot expect an Asian restaurant to substitute peanuts in a dish with e-nut sauce. If you are allergic to gluten. Maybe not order pasta pizza? I think it's kinda whack that it's gotten normal to expect restaurants to change their dishes and cater to any specific preference or need. There are options for people with allergies and they pretty much go out trying to find them. Also, they may take the risk if that means they can have a relatively normal social life. On the flip side, if someone with severe allergies finds a place that they can safely eat at they'll become a loyal guest customer. People working there should be familiar with the ingredients. Ostracized for having an allergy, no. Holding up a line due to the fact yes, that person should just make like a tree and leaf. I have kids, they are picky sometimes. We have gotten to the front of a line and they had not made up their minds. 
We step aside, let people continue on their day until we are 100 ready. It's not an allergy issue, it's an entitlement issue with the person in question. As someone with anaphylactic allergies, I can eat out, I just know to order things I can eat and ask the kitchen to keep my food separate from the things I'm allergic to. If the kitchen doesn't feel comfortable serving me, I don't take it personally and just eat elsewhere. I think your situation is about people who try to ask for substitutions where it isn't really possible. That's unreasonable. I'm allergic to peanuts, so I would never go to Five Guys or somewhere that peanuts are so prevalent. As someone who has a gluten allergy, I do my due diligence before I go out. I research the restaurant menus and make calls about gluten-free accommodations. Then I make my choice based on what restaurant suits my needs. What am I supposed to do? Just never leave the house. If I am always at risk of illness because of my severe allergy to nuts, you can expand this to anything where any trace of nuts can be found. I tell everyone about my allergy, that's enough safety for me. I have an autoimmune disease which makes anything social with friends because most social things are to do with food really annoying. I hate being the burden at a restaurant. I get it's frustrating for you as a server, but you have two options, tell me you can't serve me and I'll go elsewhere, or help me experience a normal social outing without being judged and condemned for something I was born with. As someone with several food allergies, people with this kind of attitude make us not want to eat certain places. I'm allergic to mustard, if I ask if there's mustard on a sandwich and you roll your eyes at me I'm liable to get pissy. I always double check because I've been too many places where it's not kissed on the description and I have to send my food back, because I can't eat it. An unpopular opinion I agree with I know someone with a bunch of supposedly life-threatening allergies who insists the world bend around them. I really wish restaurants would just start telling them, I'm sorry. We are unable to accommodate your needs. You'll need to find another place to eat. I'm sure those life-threatening allergies would become a lot less severe instantaneously. It would be a miraculous recovery. I agree it's annoying to have to accommodate people sometimes in hospitality, but you will probably forget about the inconvenience of helping them after like a day. Human kindness and helping another should always come in front of, but I don't want to. You shouldn't eat in places that are full of your allergy, but if you're in that situation regardless, last thing you want is probably also the server being in a pissy with you for an allergy you cannot help. Refractory celiac here. I agree and I don't eat out ever but celiac isn't an allergy, it's just easier to call it that. Autoimmune disease, and yes it is killer. One mistake could give me an intestinal aneurysm. As someone who has a severe allergy, I don't agree with this. At least for me, there are plenty of restaurants that can accommodate my allergy and lots of restaurants don't serve it for me it's all seafood minus salmon. If I choose to go to a restaurant that serves it, I let them know, but if I do have an attack, I knew it was a risk I choose to have. I know people claim to have an allergy to get made dishes with an ingredient they don't like, and if they fight people I personally don't believe it's a true allergy or just very mild. My daughter has a severe food allergy and we still eat out. Your person is just an asshole. I would also never order something that had to eat allergy in it. I don't care if it can be made a different way. Coming from someone that was a server, it's not really don't go out to eat, but don't go out to a new restaurant, with a new server during rush. That's when things get screwed up. I had a family of regulars, I could set a clock by them at 8.15 on Sunday nights. She was horribly allergic to shellfish and white potatoes, something in the starch. Once we got a solid few things that worked and knew how to avoid cross-contamination it was smooth sailing, but there was solid a level of familiarity that made it easy. They also consistently tipped well. Yeah, if tomato can't be omitted then I don't even bother to order it. No point in being difficult. I've worked in a number of restaurants and good people take care to address your food allergies and try to give you the best experience possible. Nobody with a natural or genetic allergy, food reaction issue should be forced to avoid good food. I'm happy to say I'm proud of how my managers handled every allergy case with genuine care, and addressed the situation on a personal level with everyone involved with the prep process. They were allergic to the main ingredient in tea? So a water allergy then?